My name is Isabel Diamond. I am 15. I always just want to have a good time no matter what. My name is Sanaa Cooper and I'm 17 and I'm obsessed with boys. My name is Evelyn Diamond. I'm almost 17 and I'm obsessed with chocolate pudding. Now put your hands up. I like dressing up. I'm usually like kind of one of the dressier girls in school. You will never see me in sweatpants. After I buy something, I wear it the day after. I don't care. I want to show off what I just got. I'm just such a sucker for blue and white stripes. I just I love them. You know what's cute? I got it from this little vintage store. I get dressed for me. I get dressed for the boys. Around school, like a lot of girls were starting to wear them, and I was like, wow, that looks really great. So I really wanted to find outfits that look like that. I usually read Seventeen magazine, Teen People magazine. Uh, and that's basically it. No blogs, though. I watch Gossip Girl, Project Runway, Melrose Place. Um, I just, um, these shows, like, I look at what the characters are wearing, and I, let's say, like, I really like what she wore. I'll try and maybe I'll look for something similar. I'm looking for tips, like, what's good for me, what's good for my, like, body type, and um, like what makeup would be good with my like skin tone. Usually discount stores don't have as much style as um, a normal store I'd go to in the mall, but I really like, lately they've been like upgrading all their style and they're really good with, with the prices and I enjoy shopping at them because there's so much to choose from. I text, I text much more than I use like phone calls, but if I'm on the computer then I think everyone can really get to me there, except for like my mom, but whatever. <laughs> my sister, she said, like I asked her, I'm like, I just bought these boots. And she's like, what color are they? I'm like, brown. And then she's like, well, what do you have to wear on top? I said, I don't know. She, she sends me a picture of a sweater. She's like, well, I have a sweater. She sends a picture of it. She said, if you want to come pick it up, come pick it up. If I'm not with my sister and she's looking for something and I see something that she needs, I'll take a picture of it and be like, Evelyn, is this what you're looking for? Yeah, we text all the time. <laughs> Even if we're in the like room next to each other, we still text. <laughs> To be teenagers. To be teenagers. I don't like shopping alone because, like, I walk right past things. Like, I just go for one thing. Like, I walk right past a couple of things, and my cousin usually like, "No, you don't like this shirt. This is cute." I'm like, "Oh, it is nice." Like, she picked, like she's like my second set of eyes, basically. Probably go to the mall for my sister. Let's say I'm looking for a good dress for like, a fancier party. Um, I'll probably just go with her. I trust my sister's opinion more than anyone else's because she knows like me better than like anyone else really and she knows the people around me and like what they might think of me. I have a lot of sisters who are not my real sisters. I have like a little um, girl, she meets me by my locker and I'll take her down to lunch sometimes because she's so scared, like it's just still the beginning of school. So she hanging out with me, she thinks she's cool because she's a, I'm a senior, she's a freshman. Her style is kind of wacky. So she looks up to me and she's like, oh, well, I like that. Like, yeah, so I could just buy too. Remember when we went to Boston and like we're trying on a lot of things and you were like, oh, this is so cute. And I was like, oh my gosh, please don't wear that. <laughs> please don't even take it off the hanger. Even though we're sisters, we're also best friends. I think it's because we're so close in age. We think of a lot, of, like we can relate to a lot of the same things, like what's going on. We're interacting with the same people. Can you, for just one night, forget that you're completely wretched and be my sister? Please? Fine, I'll make an appearance. She's like my backbone, I always lean on her. If I'm really stuck in a situation, I don't know what to do, I ask my sister, like, what do I do? Like, help me. My sister would never judge me, so it's like, if I tell her something, she'll be like, she'll look at it in two ways, but if I tell my friends, they'll just off the back judge you. We do a lot together. Like, she drives me to school every morning. I really like it. <laughs> We're always together. Like, it's fun. Like, we dance in the stories when a good song comes on. Honestly, I don't think I'm always that confident. She's leaving in the fall to go to college. I'm going to be stuck at home with my annoying brother. And I'm going to have to drive him to school every day. I'm going to have to do all this without her. And it's just going to be, it's, I'm, I'm telling you the truth, it's going to be such a different life for me. She's like my, like, my half of me, like she's, oh, we're always together. Because I know she'll always be there, she's not going anywhere. You know, like you can lose friends, like it's sad to say, but you can lose best friends, but you can't lose a sister. Put my hands up.